Day 12 of camp just came to a conclusion here on the practice field. The offense looked much better today with Riley Nelson leading the way in the team segment at the end of practice. He went 3 or 4 for 70 yards, which included a 60-yard touchdown bomb to former quarterback, now receiver Alex Caressa. Taysom Hill also went 3 or 4 for 68 yards, and that included a 35-yard touchdown pass to Brett Thompson. The luxury we're having right now is competition at a lot of different places, and that, that's helped, I think, our consistency in practice because if a player has a, an off day or doesn't want to work on a particular day, someone goes by him, and that's pretty apparent at a lot of different places. That competition has been very noticeable in the offensive line with the number of injuries and position moves. But at the moment, they don't see that as a concern and trust each other no matter who's lining up next to who on any given play. I would be comfortable lining up with anybody to either side of me, and I wouldn't worry about it. The way we gel is, is an offensive line is, is the way we do it. The team will hold their second scrimmage of fall camp tomorrow at Lavelle Edwards Stadium. And Coach Bronco Mendenhall mentioned that the same players will get the same looks tomorrow and that they'll try and run around 70 plays as well. Most of the same guys that didn't play in the first one won't play again, so you'll see about the same people playing as you saw in the first one. A few injuries to take note of. Offensive lineman Solomon Kafu has a broken right hand and will have surgery on it tomorrow. But good news though for wide receiver Mitch Matthews as the CT scan on his shoulder came back negative. Corey Aldis, BYU TV Sports. Thank <laughs> you.